One of the things that stays in my memory very much is when I was with the school health and there was this mother, a Chinese lady. She, uh, yeah, she was a widow and she had three children, two girls and a boy. And you know what we, we used, when I first went to school health, the big problem was malnutrition. So all these malnourished children would be sent to us and we would have to look and see what the causes are and do what we could to help. She used to come and see us for the malnutrition. So I used to help her and, you know, we, we don't do one, one uh, we don't focus only on one problem. We deal with related problems. So all the related problems uh, also I was dealing with. But this mother was fiercely... You know, she was fiercely, what's the word for it, uh, uh, protective of her children. And she felt, you know, that they must do well. She cared for them so much. So, always she would have problems. <laughs> she would have problems with the school for some reason or other. Then she'd come and tell me. Then she'd have problems with the neighbours. So one day I said, oh my, I'd better go. When I see her coming, I know that's another big problem. So I said, I'd better go to the house and see. She said the neighbors were throwing things. Her children couldn't study and the boy had to go out and study. So I went to do a home visit with her. And true, you know, she had put newspapers all over. People had been despairing, dis disturbing her. So the answer to that was, you see, in those days we had a lot of clout medical social workers, social workers. And we had applied for a HDV for her, but no news. So after seeing this, I went straight to the social welfare department and I saw the, we usually see the heads, you know. So there was a very nice uh, gentleman there, forget his name. Uh, and I, I told him this is the thing, it's terrible. Just like that, they got uh, a flat soon after, you know. Such a blessing. But those days, we really had clout, you know. And we would always go just to the top. We'd always be even to the middle one. <laughs> director of this and director. Take the phone and ring so easy you know, with the phones we used to work those days. Ah, yeah, and it was so easy that way. So they gave them a HDB. So thank God that part at least was. But this mother, had so many, every time she would come with some problem or other. But the beauty of it was in the end, the son, he took a degree, got married and everything, you know. What I enjoyed so much about my work was that there were so many aspects of it. And I loved them all. First, there was the direct service that we give, you know, one to one with our patients. Then the other, then I was started off with the hospitals where we really do crisis work. Huh? That means the patient already come in, has got the problem and sees us. Then when I went to school health, it's preventive work. So that was also very interesting and dealing with educational problems, you know, like the children who are mentally uh, uh, deficient and so on, ESNs and so and families. I believe anyway God led me this way and I think he had a very good reason. I think if I hadn't done social work I would have been a very different person, you know, probably just academic and not knowing and understanding the world. I wouldn't have. It was only social work that opened up the world to me. You know?